one of the most common applications of rational expressions in word problems are work problems like this. You'll often find two workers working on the same type of activity and taking different rates to do it, and we are asked how long it will take for them to work together. So a painter can paint a sign in four hours. His assistant can paint it in six hours. How long will it take them to paint it if they work together? Well, the best way to do this is to create an equation using rational expressions. We have one painter who works in four hours plus another painter who works in six hours, and we want to know how long will it take them if they work together. So we're going to take one over four, the first rate, one room in four hours, plus one room in six hours will equal one room in how many hours? So now we have to look and we'll say that our lowest common denominator between these three things is 12, because 4 goes into 12 and 6 goes into 12, t. So your lowest common denominator is going to be 12t. So the first thing you're going to do is, in an equation with rational expressions, is you want to get all the rational expressions on one side of the equal sign. So we basically need to subtract 1 over t from both sides. So we're going to get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. And now instead of subtracting 1 over t, we're going to add negative 1 over t. So all we did is move the 1 over t expression to the other side, but we moved it over as a negative, but we wrote that negative as the addition of a negative instead of subtracting a positive. Now we need to re-express everything using our lowest common denominator. So a good way to do that is to go vertically. So we have 1 fourth plus 1 sixth plus negative 1 over t, and that's all going to equal 0. And we have to multiply each of these by a fraction to equal another fraction with our common denominator, and our common denominator is going to be 12t. So t goes into 12t 12 times. This needs to be then 12 over 12. 6 goes into 12t 2t times. So this needs to be 2t over 2t. And 4 goes into 12t 3t times. So this needs to be 3t over 3t. Then we will simplify all the numerators. 1 times 3t is 3t. Plus 1 times 2t is plus 2t plus negative 1 times 12 would be negative 12. Now we can rewrite all these numerators over our common denominator of 12t. So we have 3t plus 2t minus 12 all over 12t. Again, still equals 0. Now I can simplify 3t plus 2t is 5t. So this is 5t minus 12 over 12t equals 0. To solve this equation now, I can multiply both sides by 12t. That's going to cancel it here, and this is going to make it 0 here. So 5t minus 12 equals 0. Add 12 to both sides, and I have 5t equals 12. Divide both by 5, and I'll have t equals 12 fifths, or 2 and two-fifths hours. So if one person paints a room in four hours and another person paints the same room in six hours, if they work together, they will be able to paint the room in two and two-fifths hours.